hello students hope you all are well and staying healthy today we are going to study a new topic pressure this topic is of chapter 11 ncert book title of the chapter is force and pressure and cbse board syllabus students in your previous classes you have learned about that winds and cyclones they apply lot of force that they can blow away even the rooftops and many times winds and cyclones are mainly because of the difference in the air pressure so does it mean that pressure and force has some relation let us find out we take a lemon and a knife you can see a knife has two ends one end is sharp another end is blunt let us try to cut a lemon with the help of the blunt end it's difficult now let us try with the sharp end yes it is easy so can we say that when area is small with the application of same amount of force it applies greater pressure on the object whereas when area is bigger with same force pressure exerted on the object is less so we are coming to a conclusion that pressure equals to force upon area or we can define pressure as force acting on unit area is known as pressure formula P equals to F upon A. P stands for pressure, F for force, and A for area. Now let us try to find out SI unit. SI unit of force is newton, and SI unit of area is meter square. So the SI unit of pressure is newton per meter square. There is another SI unit of pressure that is pascal. There was this well-known scientist, Sir Blaise Pascal, who has done many activities and experiments based on this topic. So, to honor him, this particular name, that is Pascal, it has been coined up. Children, we can say that pressure is inversely proportional to area. It means that if you apply equal amount of force in two different cases. where in first case if area is a small the pressure exerted will be greater whereas if you apply same force on a greater area then pressure exerted will be smaller so you can say that pressure is inversely proportional to area let us take one example like a porter who carries luggage in railway stations you must have observed he uses a round piece of cloth over his head why is that so yes you have thought the correct uh, reason for it the reason is that when we are using a round piece of cloth over our head it increases the surface area so when surface area is greater pressure exerted on the head of porter will be less so this way you can say that pressure is inversely proportional to area and there are so many other examples in your daily life with which you can correlate the same concept now i have a question for you do liquids and gases also exert pressure let us find out you can see i have a beaker where i have filled some colored water and let us take a plastic bottle i have made holes and let us fill water and see what happens you can see water is coming out stream of water is coming out and it means that liquid water it is exerting it is applying force on the walls of the container children can you notice one more thing that if i fill more amount of water 
Water is coming out from all three holes and all the three holes are at the same level. So can we come to the conclusion that liquids exert pressure on the walls of the container as well as pressure in liquids is same at the same level. You can understand it with the help of a figure. We can draw one beaker like this and we can show that the beaker has three or four different holes in different directions. And now when you fill water, water will come out from all three holes and they will cover somewhat equal distance which means pressure exerted by liquids remains same in all the uh, directions at the same level. This is our first figure and the first activity related to liquids. Another activity I am showing you. You can see another bottle where I have already filled water and now I will be removing a tape which I have already pasted here and you can see If I remove all the tapes where I have already made holes, you will find water comes out and you can see there are three different holes. Let me fill more water to make it clear. You can see water is coming out and with different level water comes out and it covers different distances. It means there is a difference in the pressure. So can we conclude that pressure in liquids it increases with depth. It will be clear with this figure. There are three different holes made at three different levels and if you fill the beaker with water you will find that the water which comes out from the first means the topmost hole it is covering the least distance then the middle hole medium distance and the lowermost hole which is at the bottom, it covers the largest distance. So this activity and the figure number 2 shows that pressure in liquids increases with depth. So whenever you are in some water body, as you move down more, uh, you are covering more depth, you will feel more pressure of water on your body. So here you have learnt two very important concepts related to liquids that pressure in liquids remains same in all the directions at the same level and pressure in liquids increases with 